Hi, I'm Jared with Otis Technology, and today we're going to demonstrate how to clean a semi-automatic handgun. The firearm I have in front of me is the Savage Stance 9mm semi-automatic handgun. Cleaning and maintaining your firearms is important to ensure that they'll work properly when you need them to, and to protect your investment. When cleaning your firearm, it's important to clean from breech to muzzle, so always clean the direction the bullet travels. This is important because you don't want to drive carbon and fouling into your action of the trigger group of this handgun. To clean your handgun from breech to muzzle, you have multiple options available. The first being a pull-through bore cleaning system like the Otis Ripcord, which can be used at the range while the barrel is still hot. Or you can disassemble your firearm and clean it at the bench at home using a solid rod cleaning system. Otis also offers our Memory Flex Cable Cleaning System, which can be easily packed in your range bag to clean at the range or at home on your bench. Prior to cleaning, it's important to make sure that your firearm is safe and unloaded. Visually and manually inspect the chamber, remove your magazine, refer to your owner's manual for disassembly instructions. Most handguns are made up of similar basic components. You have your frame, your guide rod and recoil spring, the barrel, and the slide. For this cleaning demonstration, we're going to use a three-step process, which consists of a wet patch, a bronze brush, and a dry patch. For this first step, we're going to grab the memory flex cable and we're going to tie on a patch. Refer to the instructions in your cleaning kit for the proper pinch position to ensure you have a properly tied patch that matches the caliber of handgun that you're cleaning. Next, you're going to apply the CLP or solvent of your choice. In this case, we're using Shooter's Choice FP10 which is a cleaner, lubricant, and protectant. Then we're going to clean the barrel from breech to muzzle. This initial wet patch with your CLP or solvent will break down the carbon and fouling that's in this barrel and then this bronze brush and the dry patch that follows will pull out all of that built up carbon and following this in your bore. Next we'll tie on our bronze brush and clean the barrel from breech to muzzle. And we'll follow that with a dry patch. Depending on the condition of your firearm, your bore may be dirtier than others. Repeat this process until your final pass produces a clean patch. Next we're going to move on to our AP brush, but before we do that we're going to apply CLP to the feed ramp and any friction points or points in the firearm that you can see obvious carbon buildup. This kit comes with its own short compact AP brush that fits in this small case. Yours might look a little different than this and it might even be a toothbrush. Um, but, but what matters is you have one present to scrub these areas to help break down the carbon and remove it from your uh, barrel, slide, and frame. Your AP brush can also be used to clean the magwell your recoil spring, and your guide rod. These uh, blue nylon fibers on the AP brush will not harm your firearm, neither will the bronze brush with, because it is softer than steel. Once you finish with your AP brush, you'll want to wipe down the uh, recoil spring and guide rod to ensure there's no additional oils on them, which causes them to build up dust and debris. You can also use this to clean up the exterior of your barrel, removing any excess oils, as well as your frame and your slide. Before reassembly, we're gonna apply CLP or lubricant to the friction points in the firearm and we're going to run one final wet patch 
through the barrel to ensure that it preserves it from rust and corrosion. Refer to your owner's manual, your firearm, for their recommendation on oil points or grease points. Reassemble your firearm using your manufacturer's instructions. One final step, before you put your firearm into storage or into your holster, you're gonna to wanna to apply a little bit of CLP to any of your external metal components. Then find a clean area of your microfiber cloth to wipe away any excess oils, fingerprints, fouling, carbon, or debris. This concludes our demonstration on how to clean a semi-automatic handgun. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching.